Hello everyone. I hope you are doing good. We have learned a couple of topics of publishers, subscribers and even turtle bot till now. In this video, we are going to look at some of the communication between these nodes, topics and how to actually check and debug it. Over here, let me start by running Roscoe. Once Roscoe is up, let me source my terminal for this particular package. And now I'm going to run the publisher node first. Ross run the name of the package. And if you remember, listener or talker. So over here, talker. This is the publisher node. In another terminal, I'm going to start my subscriber. So I'm going to go into my directory source and ross run package name and listener perfect so one publisher is up the other subscriber is up now let's look at our communication protocols the first thing that i'm going to show you is ross node list i have over here listener and talker these are the two different scripts that are running right now. If I go into one step further, ROS node info listener. So I will get to know over here as to the type of the messages that are being published, whatever is there inside the this node of listener. It is subscribing to the topic chatter over here. There are a couple of services involved. Other than that, from where is this getting published from? So this is my laptop. There can be situations where you have multiple systems and that would help us debug as to which IP is this node coming from. This was ROS node info. Let's check on another communication protocol called ping. So if I type ROS node ping listener, I'll, I'll get as to at what hertz or milliseconds this reply is coming from and from what system again. So again, this is from my system alone. I also have another feature here. For instance, this node stopped responding. There is a feature called ROS node kill. So simply ROS node kill. And if I say listener, my node was killed and over here I get in this terminal shutdown received reason given is user requested because I just killed this node. The next thing that I want to talk about over here is ROS topic. So since we just talk, talked about nodes, let's let's shift our focus to ROS topic now. So ROS topic list. I have chatter. ROS out and ROS AGG. So these two are the default topics that always come up when we run ROS core. The very first thing that I'm going to show is ROS topic HC or the frequency at which this topic is getting published. This topic is published at 10 messages per second. Why is this 10? Let me go into my chatter file, which is the talker file over here. Once I'm in this file, I set my loop rate as 10. This is why my messages are going out at the frequency of 10. If I change this to say one, go into my folder for robometrics, cat can make. This is a C file. I always have to run cat can make the edz is again 10 right now because i'll have to rerun the code stopping the code and running it again that was the lag but if i check now i am getting one message so if you see over here the this was from the previous version of ross topic edz so it was basically a communication gap, but once I run this code again, the messages are getting at one message per second. Next, as I said, ROS topic HZ, there is another feature called ROS topic echo. ROS topic echo and chatter would give me the message that is being sent. So over here, I see data 
hello world 45 if if you can follow over here 49 number and 50 number so this is all real time live so echo gives me as to what is being sent over the communication channel i can have ross topic info ross topic info and again chatter this gives me as to the type of the message the publisher and if you remember this talker this message chatter is being subscribed by my node listener that comes up over here too so for instance i have a topic say talker which is getting subscribed from 10 different subscribers i can have the list of all the subscribers over here i also have a, another thing called ross topic bandwidth or bw this basically helps me debug in a system where there are multiple different communication this thing devices so for instance i have one laptop over here and 10 different microprocessors spread all around my workspace this will help me debug as to my messages are getting transferred at what rate since this is being published at my laptop subscribed by my laptop that's the default rate that i'm getting over here so all of this was from the point of view of the code that is already present what if i have to quickly debug something and uh, run my uh, ross topic uh, or just publish some topic without actually writing a code about it this can be done with this very simple command ross topic pub so for instance let's see ross topic pub pub means i have to publish something the next would be my topics name test topic what is the next command my message type standard messages slash string next uh, parameter is my actual message so i am just gonna say um row matrix r o b o matrix so what did this do if i go on to a different terminal ross topic list i have a test topic over here now what is this test topic this test topic is let's see with ross topic echo i'm getting robo matrix pr printed over here this just got printed or published once i am gonna add another parameter for this publishing dash r at 10. my topic is being published with a frequency of 10 messages per second now so this dash r10 or the rate was really important you can have multiple topics being published with just this dummy command all you have to do is ross topic pub with followed by the topic name that you have to publish followed by the message type and then your message i think that was all about ross node and ross topic commands that can help anyone debug your code stay tuned Lots and lots of more videos coming up, Robomatrix.